So this is my reply to you, Professor Anton's uh, obligatory I'm going to take a break from YouTube video. I mean, sooner or later, everybody who comes to, view to uh, YouTube makes a video like this. <laughs> uh, either that or just takes a break without, uh, without announcing it. Um, but um, yeah, Professor Anton, I have to um, say, I, I was kind of excited when I first saw you pop up here on YouTube. You know, I said, well, you sound, seem interesting. Um, I have some, something new to say here and stuff like that. But um, I, I really haven't enjoyed your channel as much as I thought I would, uh, to tell you the truth. And um, since you, you seem to, you know, bemoan the lack of reasoned discourse here or honest critique or something, uh, I'm going to try to help you here. This is going to sound kind of critical, uh, I guess. Um, but it's the best I can do. And, you know, if, if you really want somebody to engage with, with your ideas or engage with what you've been doing here on YouTube, um, this is this is my attempt to do that. And um, while you're taking a break from YouTube, thinking about whether you want to come back or how you want to come back, um, this is my contribution to to helping you out. Um, if I look back on the the biggest surprise for me for coming on YouTube uh, was the following. It's like I, I I thought that the the most popular videos that I would make would just be um, rehashes or ex explanations of something somebody else had thought of. Who was more famous than I am, or could write better than I am, or was more creative than I am. But um, it turns out not to be, uh, which is kind of interesting. If you look at the, um, you know, YouTube provides all these these metrics and stuff that you can see, you know, what are your your um, most popular videos and and what was people really watching that you put out and stuff, right? The interesting thing was is um, the videos that are the most popular ones that I made are my own ideas, something that I came up with myself that, that, that nobody else had. And this isn't because I'm some creative genius, which, you know, I'm manifestly not. Um, but think about it this way, right? Okay, if somebody comes to YouTube, why are they spending their time on YouTube as opposed to watching television or going to Barnes & Noble and buying a book or something like this, right? People are coming to YouTube because they want to see something that nobody's ever done before. They want to see some new clever sparks of creativity and um, that's really what they're looking for if you can give them that it doesn't have to be a big spark or a profound spark you know certainly none of mine are, are, are fall into that category but you know every once in a while I have my moments and I come up with a little spark of something which which you know is new and um, most of the, the youtubers here on, on on YouTube that have been engaged with you recently um, are much better at that than I am but um, you know, those are the ones that people watch because that's what we're coming here to see, right? This is not mass media. This is this is micro media, and if you can give us that, so I guess that's my biggest critique and my biggest disappointment actually um, is that I really don't see anything new from you that I couldn't get someplace else that I couldn't get by reading another book or or going another direction. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, quote some quotes from some of your videos here and um, just respond to each one of them in turn. So here it goes. So many of the videos that I have tried to give here on YouTube are about the struggle of overcoming the belief in a concrete individual who is a real entity prior to birth that is the self-same identity across time that is something over against society. Okay, now these are great ideas as far as they go, right? Okay, they're but they're not your ideas, okay? These are ideas which you picked up from somebody else. And it's ideas that we already know, okay? So, and this is true quite generally. I mean, I haven't watched all of your videos, but the videos that I have watched fit this pattern. And this is your own self-described summary of the videos and, and what you've tried to do on YouTube here, right? Okay, so basically, I mean, what you've been doing is not really giving us new stuff. You've just been kind of like, you know, echoing stuff that was, came before. Like, imagine a world where, where we could say to people that what you have accomplished, what you actually have done, how creative you are in actual productive deed, you know, Let's see your art. Let's see your writings. Let's see your videos. Let's see the food that you produce. Dance a dance for us. Um. 
Precisely. And, you know, that's really what we'd like to see from you. You know, you dance us a dance. You sing us a song. I mean, give us... We haven't seen Professor Anton yet, right? All we've seen is is echoes of other books that we've already read. I mean, we we, we have the same books you do. I mean, look, I, I have all the books that you, that you have, man. So give us something new. Give us something we can't get anyplace else. Are your great accomplishments... How many plates of food you can knock back and or beers you can polish while you watch the television sitting around? Oh, you're, you're really good at the point and click. Oh, now that's an interesting metaphor that you use there. I mean, consumption of, of media as consumption of food, right? You know, it's, it's dangerous to eat too much food. And so therefore, it's also dangerous to consume too much media, right? But, you know, I have to wonder if you're not guilty of this yourself. I mean, it's like... Just there's a such thing as reading too many books too, too much consumption in terms of, of food. Just like reading book after book after book, uh, thinking that that's going to be the answer, and then just you know spewing out what you've what you've written before. Um, it, it's kind of like a surfeiting. I think that is a very good metaphor for that. I'll, I'll come back to this point a little bit later. Even better, you're a good shopper. Oh man, that is impressive. How people are able to to pick out that product. Oh, you, you, you bought that. Oh, that's interesting. From a selection of items. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, take the beam out of your own eye first. I mean, it's like that your whole point in this video is criticizing what everybody else is watching, right? And how everybody else is spending their time. It's just like, you know, you're criticizing the choice of other people's videos. And yet you're priding yourself on being a good shopper yourself. Right? You are a good shopper of books. You are a good shopper of media to watch. You are a good shopper of things to talk about. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's really not that surprising that somebody would eventually call you out on this, right? Send me an email and I will blast you off a, a PDF on reading good books. And I'm happy to maybe see if I can't start some kind of reading group where we're going to have actual texts of people and uh, we'll try to find some good things that are available maybe things online and see if we can't read things together I think if there's going to be a phoenix out of the ashes here uh, it's going to be something more orchestrated by way of a public intellectual engagement that's more of book culture and then using this as a grounding from that okay I mean, at this point, I don't have to say anything, right? I mean, it's like, what's your, what's your big prescription to what's wrong with YouTube, right? It's to read more books. Dude, okay, you already knew on some level that that wasn't working for you anymore. That's why you came to YouTube in the first place, right? The answer that you're seeking is not going to be found in reading yet another book. There's no book on this planet that has what you're looking for. Okay, um, just to sit around at another banquet table and eat more food and then surf it, spew the food back out again and eat more food. It, that's not the way it's going to happen. Okay, what we need now is creative production of new ideas, right? Give us something that we've never seen before. Give us something that we can only get from Professor Anton. And then I think you'll see that this whole YouTube thing is going to work out a lot better for you.